There are so many TikTok videos about photography hacks you can do with your iPhone that it's basically become its own genre. But as a professional videographer, I've never really had a need to try these. That is, until today. You see, I want to find out how good these hacks actually are. So I'm going to recreate five of the most viral TikTok hacks with a phone and a DSLR and see how they can fit. Let's go. Look, I gotta watch my back, I gotta watch my back Dodging demons, coppers, coppers probably hate me cause I'm black I don't know, I be spreading love, sometimes they mutual Just a seed that's from that darkness, but that's what it takes to grow Still in flow, still in motion, couple homies with me and we sipping on that potion Alright, alright, that's pretty mad, let's get a drink We're gonna put it into portrait mode, flip it upside down, take the photo it's all right, but I feel like it just looks like an iPhone photo, so let's try with the DSLR. I think I'm gonna have to give this one to the DSLR. actually a pretty good hack. I don't even know how I'm gonna do this with a DSLR, but let's give it a go. All right, this is awkward. It looks like I'm doing a TikTok dance in public. All right, so basically what you do with this one is we then go from live, turn to long exposure, and that should get rid of anyone who's moving. All right, that's mad, that actually works. And got rid of most of the people that were moving anyway. So now we're gonna try it with the DSLR. Turns out we weren't actually allowed to film here, so this is us getting kicked out pretty shortly after. For me, we're not worried, but yeah, we got caught from control to come to you guys are breaking up, oh, okay. we're gonna pick up. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. I think this one's going to the iPhone, simply just because of how easy it is to do it. Still taking your pictures like this? Stop doing that and try this instead. Find the surface to keep your phone stable. Next, tap this button in the corner to turn on live mode. Decrease the brightness by dragging down on your screen. Take a photo when a bunch of cars drive by. Open your gallery, tap on live and long exposure for this motion blur effect. Apply one of my presets for your photo to look like this. What? Since when can iPhones do long exposure? So for this one, it needs to be dark. So a few hours later, I headed to the city to find a place to shoot. I think I found a little spot up on a bridge that's kind of overlooking some roads. So I'll go up there and we'll see how we go. Alright, this one should work. So apparently you just set it up and then take the photo. So what you do is you take it from live mode and put it into long exposure and... Oh, uh, that's not very good actually. <laughs> yeah, so it looks like the uh, passive kind of just disappeared from long exposure. Let's move to the DSLR. Oh man, I had so much hope for this one. That's so unfortunate. But as you can see, the photos, there's not really any debate. The DSLR is better. not expecting that. I was wondering where that was going until the end. Alright, so this thing's pretty simple. I was gonna take a shoe off. So you just kind of put the shoe on her foot like that. Just took a photo from the side. So yeah, I guess that kind of works. Right. I feel like I probably could have tried to do this somewhere less public. This is so awkward. Honestly, I think this one's a draw. Let's move on to the next one. Stop taking pictures like this. Go to portrait mode, lower the F number and get in close. You've just gone from this to this. Follow me for more. Okay, this looks easy. Let's get a mushroom. So following this one, put it into portrait mode, flip it again. 
I'm seeing a bit of a pattern here. For some reason, flipping the phone is good to making good photos with the iPhone. Anyway. Is it just flipping the camera that makes it? So next, we're going to shoot with the DSLR, but I put a macro lens on it because it's the only way that you can shoot something that's really close. So we'll see how this one goes. Quality wise, I feel like they're both on the same level. But because you have to buy a really specific macro lens to shoot this with DSLR, I'm gonna have to give this one to the iPhone, making this entire thing a draw.